Whether you're looking for a new game or want to travel back to Silent Hill, I think we can agree that Silent Hill is an artistic masterpiece that deserves at least one playthrough. However, finding these beautiful works of art can be challenging at least. Way more challenging than I wish. Today, I'm going through Silent Hill 124 and giving you guys the best possible way, in my opinion, that you could possibly find comfort in that creepy fog. Up first is Silent Hill 1. Funny enough, I actually played this on my Android via emulator and like a little Xbox controller, but from what I know, this is the only way that you can actually play it if you don't want to buy a PlayStation 1 and the copy of a game for some crazy amount. If you do choose, however, to emulate the game, you can use EPSXE and RetroArch. These are just some examples. There are multiple emulators out there, but I used EPSXE and it worked like a charm. However, quick disclaimer is that emulators are technically not illegal, but using copyrighted games on an emulator technically is. However, you do you and you totally shouldn't get them off like a website. I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't care. Now, since those are really the only ways to play Silent Hill 1, let's move on to Silent Hill 2. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Because of Silent Hill 2 revolutionizing horror games, especially just having some of the best animated cutscenes still to this day, I mean, I, just look at that. That was animated hand by hand, each and every frame. Oh my god, so smooth. However, this game has a very big fan base, and I am grateful for that, because if it wasn't for them, we would not be able to play Silent Hill 2 the best way in my opinion, which is the enhanced way. Technically, because Silent Hill 2 is considered abandonware, meaning it is no longer distributed or supported by the developers or copyright holders, you can get the game for free off of my abandonware. After you install Silent Hill 2, you will also need to install Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition in order to play. This is definitely one of my favorite ways to play Silent Hill 2, However, there are more out there, of course, in the way of emulation. You can use any PS2 emulators, for example, PCX2, or my favorite, XBSX2, uh, to play Silent Hill 2. There's some other ways, like owning an actual PS2 to play it, but that's a hassle if you don't already have one, and Silent Hill costs a damn ton of money. In my opinion, I would just go with emulation or my abandonware. Now Silent Hill 3 you can also get off of my abandonware as well, or you can go through the route of emulation once again if you would like to play this game as well. Many people credit Silent Hill 3 to be one of their favorite out of the series, and it is definitely a game that you should play if you are into horror. My restless dreams. I see that town. Now, the Silent Hill HD collection was kind of a mess at launch, it was extremely buggy and everything, and I mean, it was fixed over the years, but however, I would not play this version if you have the other versions at hand. 
but if you do want to buy the Silent Hill HD collection, which is on Xbox, it is around $20. I, I, I personally wouldn't. The reason why is because if you do want to play the games, you can enjoy a, a much better experience if you take the $20 and spend it on Xbox dev mode. Now this, I believe, is only for the series consoles, but if you buy the dev mode, you can use emulators to play the original Silent Hill games. Yes, 1 and 2 and 3 can be played if you emulate them on series consoles. This is a fantastic way for you to play them, from what I have heard, so please, unless you do not have any other way of playing the Silent Hill games, I recommend buying dev mode and not the HD collection. But if you do still buy the HD collection, there really isn't much of a difference, except for some minor details, which really depends on who you are. Silent Hill 4 can be played on Windows uh, through GOG.com. It, it was it was a fun, really cool experience. Um, that's really all because you you can literally just like buy the game for like five dollars. At least that's what I got. Um, it's about let's see how much it is now. Oh uh, yeah, it's thirty percent off right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's it's usually ten dollars, but uh, since it's thirty percent off right for me, it's uh, seven dollars. Um, extremely cheap wonderful game you should definitely pick it up for ten dollars especially just it's just like it's great it, it really is just it's a pretty good game um but you can probably also emulate it as well since you can literally emulate like all the old games uh however i just recommend buying it unless if you don't want to spend the money uh it, it's, it's it's worth it definitely it's worth it Now those, in my opinion, are the best way to play the first four Silent Hill games, which technically are the best Silent Hill games. I mean, there's more like Downpour and Homecoming, which, I mean, those games are, they're, they're okay. Hopefully I helped you out in a little bit, and make sure to enjoy your stay in Silent Hill.